For attention, please. The local train bound for Tokyo. I'm not sure if it's a kick or a punch. It was pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's very hungry. This is our first meal here in Japan. The flight was only four hours here. Yeah. Papa's having a beer. Actually, we found this um, yakiniku spot just right beside the shibuya Yeah, how lucky are we? But if you want to get a better view, you have to reserve. It's our second day here in Tokyo. We're gonna have a mama and papa time and the baby in Tokyo. <laughs> I also want to buy a coat because everything that is my coats that are thick and Martin's sweaters are left in Norway because we're like, you know what? We don't usually go to winter destinations that much anyway. That is the agenda for today and hopefully I can find a nice snug sweater. One thing about this climate is my body is actually in favor of it. I don't know if you remember that I mentioned for the past couple of vlogs that I am so hot all the time and sweaty but this one, my body is loving it. And yes, Yesterday, my baby, this baby girl, I feel like she loves it here. She's just been so chill. However, when I was starting to get hungry, she was also starting to get hungry. She punched me or, I don't know, kicked me. She's becoming so strong now. <laughs> and I don't know if, the, if it's a mother's instinct, but I somehow understood that, okay, she's hungry. She needs food now. And we found this uh, yakiniku place right in the heart of Shibuya Crossing. And it's overlooking the Shibuya Crossing. And it was really nice. However, if you want a better view from your seat, you have to make a reservation early on so that you can get a nice spot. But after all, ours wasn't so bad at all. And the price, is, it, it is quite expensive, but it is our first meal here in Japan. So we're like, you know what? Why not? And then for the rest of our stay, we won't be spending that much. You can buy these in any drugstores here in Japan. And even 7-Eleven. Convenience stores, basically. And it's looked like this. I don't know what exactly it's called. It looks like this. It has a stick on at the back. And what I do is I, I always carry one or two in my bag, by the way. I shake it to release the heat. So you shake it like that. Shake, 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 shake. And then 
you remove the stick on and then you put it inside your gloves so that whenever you are hey what are you doing inside my bag ha huh? where are my shades it's there see Thank that's the thing you. you don't bring your own bag and then you just place it stick it inside your gloves so that you're always warm in winter time good morning from shibuya We found in Tokyo, yeah, and hey, now we're hey. back. Ooh, ooh. Actually, we found that we're pregnant in Tokyo. Yeah, like I think we're four weeks pregnant. Mm -mm. Yeah, the last time we were here was during summertime, and now it's winter time. It's amazing. After five months. Wow. You know what I was thinking about? We're priming the baby for some colder yes. environments now. Actually, I think she loves it. Mm. I don't know. I always mention this to you. I'm always hot in the Philippines. Like I get sweaty. I get like body odor. But here, oh. she is loving it. Mm. She. I mean, I am cold, but somehow my body feels more. How do you say this? Fresh. Yeah. It's yeah, 12 degrees. Yeah. So it's not like Norway cold. Yeah, that's but. what I love. Because in Norway, if we stay in Norway, I'll be wearing penguin coats <laughs> and I'll walk yeah, like this. That's true. <laughs> not fun. Not as fun. <laughs> For today, Mama and Papa day. <laughs> what I love about Tokyo is you can wear anything and people be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, fresh kicks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Didn't you buy that on a thrift store in... <laughs> I bought it, yeah. In Shibuya, they're actually. They're thrifted in Japan, and yeah, now they're back. Supreme Shusha. Yeah, I never had these before. But it makes me excited. Because in Japan, you can get them a little cheaper. Yeah. Okay, so for the boom this. Thank you, Papa. Since she can't really go that deep. Yeah. I, babe, it's the wrong shoe. Again? You know, good thing I'm not Cinderella. <laughs> I don't have to find my Prince Charming because I already found you. Wow, thank you, Papa. It's warm. Mm -hmm. I really like that it has a short heel because it helps my back in a way. Yeah. Because if it's too flat, it, my back can, or my foot kind of hurts. Oh, Martin's helping me. <laughs> We're actually in the fifth floor, even. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna bring this because sometimes we find so much nice thrift of the clothing yeah. that we're like, shit, we can't really carry this. But <laughs> this time we came prepared. <laughs> Japan, thrift yeah. shopping 2.0. Is that thrifted in Japan? Your outfit? Yeah, this, actually, everything you see except the sweater is thrifted in Japan. Nice. I like this, this is an essential, you mm -hmm. know? The gigs. You look cool. Thanks, love. <laughs> One thing you sh should consider, if, especially if you're pregnant, is that your Airbnb or your hotel is closer to any subway station. In that yeah. way, you don't have to walk, you know. It's nice that they have elevators here in Japan and some escalators. The only thing that you can't easily find them. That's true, you have to look for them. <laughs> yeah, and it's not common that it's this spacious. So what is it like for you to 
navigate around a public space, taking public transportation while being pregnant? Well, I would say it's still the same, but I'm I feel I'm more protective right. with my own space. Like I just wanna make sure no one bumps me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, especially in crowded places. And 11 time. Hey Buntis, what's happening? I'm gonna buy something for snacks because she's hungry. Oh yeah? She's getting hungry and I'm also getting thirsty from all that shopping. I love this. The original price is 7,000 yen from the thrift store already. <laughs> but they're on sale so it's 30% off. And it's so warm, it's wool. Banger. Yeah, the one that I'm wearing earlier is only for fall, spring, but this one keeps me warm. And the baby. Oh, you want to show what Papa looks like? Yes. Banger. Look at this, so Foggy. warm. Man. <laughs> oh. Chilling. <laughs> Well, what's nice about 7-Eleven is that there's always something to snack on. Yes. Amazing quality. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what you can find. Make us proud. Love you, Mama. Bye bye. Get the goods. Some snackies for Mama and Papa. What are we having? Yeah, I left my water bottle in the house, so we're just sharing water. Nice. And then I think you, you might want to try some pancakes. <laughs> this one is chocolate. Are you joking? Chocolate pancakes? Yeah. This one is kind of like a pancake too, but strawberry. Oh my God. And cream and waffle. And this one is for me. It's a chewy taiyaki with custard thing. It looks mm. like a fish. <laughs> and it's cold. Yummy. And if you want something a little salty and heavy, this is a. Uh, Salmon, red salmon and salt. Onigiri. I think onigiri. Let's look for a place to mm -hmm. sit. Yeah. Your attention please, the local train bound for Tokyo will soon arrive on track number 5. For your safety, please stand behind the yellow line. It's ramen time, perfect for the weather. Ichiran ramen is um, a famous ramen chain. So and cool it's in pretty here. affordable too and it's yummy look at the japanese they have this system with light switches on the board that shows you which tables are free mm. <laughs> talk about efficiency yeah they're always so efficient yeah. and then another thing is as we're waiting in line we had to circle the box that we liked how we liked our ramen yeah and then this is the ticket that we're going so, to show later on. So excited. Yeah, you. so for a ramen, a regular ramen, it's 980 yen. We are now inside the ramen restaurant. This is my booth. Ava is sitting right next to me in her audio booth. Yeah, we are introverts here. Sorry. <laughs> and they serve the food through this thing. 
it's super cool. And then I have my own little water dispenser right here, which I'm guessing I can, yep, tap my own water. And here they are some. Thank you. Order tea, Japanese tea. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Wow. Look at this. I hope you enjoy it. Shut up, Rain. Hi, Rain. <laughs> So mama's dressed up. Look at her. <laughs> you look good luck. Wow, these are nice photos. Thank you. Thank Fun too. Sometimes bring out the big camera and try to shoot some professional stuff. Mm -hmm. The only thing is like with the involvement of social media, people don't care about those shots anymore. At least that's how I feel. It takes so much time to produce and with the emergence of reels and all of those things, people don't care about it anymore. So it's more like we do it for us. Yeah. But I think it's, it's fun. Sometimes you just got to do stuff for yourself too. So we're in the back street now here. Let's take a photo. Yeah. So many photos to shoot when you're in Japan, no? Even the truck is aesthetic. Like everywhere is aesthetic. Yeah. It's very easy to get cool photos here. We only have a few hours left here in Tokyo yeah. before we leave. And Martin wants to do some thrift shopping because it's really nice to thrift shop here in Japan. Not mm -hmm. a lot of people know about that. But first, coffee for Martin for fun to function. Coffee! <laughs> Coffee for me! Yeah! Hello! We are here in Don Quixote and I'm buying Japanese products that I know is going to be expensive here in the Philippines. Like right? Japanese Neo, <laughs> my favorite. And then some skincare products, makeup, and then wow. this one. I love the sunscreen by the way because it doesn't give any white cast. Yeah. So even when we're either when we're island hopping, or just going out, it, it doesn't show any white dust. Yeah, it's like see-through. Yes, but we need to be very careful because we only have few kilos in our suitcase. Yeah. So we can buy that much. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This supermarket, Don Quixote, is absolutely crazy. Like everywhere you go, the aisles are talking to you. I want to sell you stuff, like over here. Like there's TVs everywhere, every aisle is talking to you. So you're like, Constantly getting bombarded with marketing messages. Yeah. But I know Av is very happy. That's why we spend some time here. Thank you. To make sure she, you know, Thank satisfy you. her Japanese cravings yes. before the baby gets so big that we can't travel anymore. She got a little baby brewing over there. Yeah. Back at the airport, Papa Martin is the one pushing and carrying all of this. Thank you, Papa. It's the least thing I can do. So. <laughs> We're in Haneda. This is the one closest to the city. And we're gonna enter the priority customers. Why? Why do Mama we have to go Abe. there? Because of Mama Abe. Did you have a baby? Bye, Japan. I'm so sad. <laughs> Japanese food. 
most spacious elevator we've seen yeah. so far here in Japan. Very proud of you though, like you traveled five months pregnant, six months pregnant. Thank you, like, because you also helped me a lot, you know, especially with the carrying. I'm so lucky you're my husband. I wasn't expecting this to go that smooth. I can't believe this is in the airport, <laughs> check it out. So I think this is the place that my, me and my parents ate. So guys, it's like as if we're walking around an authentic Japanese village just before the departure area. Decided to eat here instead. What do you want to eat, love? I think you should decide. I think I like that yakiniku there. All right. One last meal before we go home. Second floor uh, before the departures area. It's bomb. <laughs> yeah, it it's really good. good. It was even better than the one that we yeah. ate from Shibuya Station. That was good. Okay, time to go home. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, it's video. It's okay, video. You can okay. see here. Is it still on? Yeah, yeah, it's on now. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> We're taking. A... Where are you going? We are going to gate 145 oh, okay. <laughs> and then to Manila. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Here in the airport, they have these um, transportation like scooter, vehicles. Yeah. If you're in a special assistant yeah. need, which Ave is because she is yeah. six months pregnant. If you're, um, you know, a senior, yeah. you have, uh, or you're pregnant, you have injuries, yeah. you, know, you can easily call one. This is the first time we're ever doing this. Yeah. And you know, you're not supposed to get them unless it's like actually something you need. Yeah, yeah. But it takes 20 minutes to walk to our gate. We were like, you know what? This is one of the times where we're going to be those people to actually use one. Yeah. And feel good about it. Don't you feel good about mm, it? It feels nice because I get the rest. It's, she's getting heavy after I eat a lot. <laughs> yeah. Ava, I'm so proud of you on this trip. You've been amazing. You really stepped out of your way to, to help you. me also. So there's also a lot of restaurants inside. Yeah. More fast food. But I'm very happy we took that yakiniku. Right. Because I was craving for one and I know it'll be hard to find a good one in Manila. I love that Japan has this. They really take care of the, their elderly and their pregnant women. Well, if someone's scared to travel uh, in their, during their pregnancy, what do you have to say to them? Of course, you need to ask your doctor first. That is the best advice that I can give you because my pregnancy is different from other women's pregnancy and your doctor is the only one who knows you best. And once he, she, she or he gives you a go signal, then go for it. I think the second trimester is the best trimester for me because I'm still not too big and I don't vomit that much anymore or become nauseous. So it was actually pretty nice. And what I love about it is that Japan has a lot of priorities when it comes to pregnant women. That's true. Mm -hmm. So pretty successful trip, would you say? Yeah, successful trip as a pregnant woman. And this is our gate, Manila, here we go. This is what happens when you travel during winter time. You go home with a lot of laundry. Actually, the reason why it looks like it's a lot, it's because the winter clothes are thick and it occupies so much space in your suitcase. So that is the reason why it is a mess in here. Normally, it's not the case when we're traveling in tropical destinations. These ones are for dry cleaning. So the coats needs to be dry cleaned because I think my mom and my sister or my aunt will borrow it 
going to go to Japan, I think next month. I also want to show you how much stuff I brought. I was supposed to buy more, but I was very hesitant in the end because I think we'll be over our kilo limit, suitcase limit, which actually we still had 20 more kilos to spare. And I was like, you know what? Okay. Okay. When you're traveling in Japan and go to Don Quixote, they will put it in a bag like this, meaning it's tax-free. So you can't really open it until you go out of Japan. So I already opened it yesterday and I do want to show you what I got, some of the things that I got. And I'll show you quickly what I got from our pasalubongs and also stuff for the pregnant woman. So these are like boxes and inside are mochi. It's really good. We've already opened a couple of these yesterday. I'm so sorry for the noise. The, the house next door is being renovated. I got these and it's also nice as a gift because you can literally just give it to you, the person you want to give the gift to. So these are all mochis and I believe it costs 800 yen. And so the, those are all mochis. I forgot which flavor those are, but whenever we're in Japan, we buy the sunscreen because it's our favorite sunscreen. It's BR and doesn't get white cast. We want to try this premium, I think this is a lotion from Hadalabo. We always buy the yellow one. I might show it to you later. This one is a mascara remover. Got some eyeshadows because I don't have makeup at all, like eyeshadows. Only use mascara. More mochis. I think this is mochi. It's almost Sakura season. That's why everything is in pink. This is a salt seasoning for meat and all. So I haven't tried this yet. Maybe Maybe it's gonna be good. Oh, I wish I bought more of these. Ichiran ramen. Yum. These are eye drops for when you have contact lens. So when I use my contact lens, it gets a little dry sometimes, depending which contact lens I'm using. Sesame dressing. I love this, actually. I use this a lot with my salad dressings. And then eyeliner. I love this brand. I don't know the name of this brand, but I love this. It's just hard to remove. Face mask. We love this face mask. It's called the Kiana Rice Mask. And then it's my first time to actually use and Honey shampoos. We do have the hair oil of this and I absolutely love it. And when I saw this in Don Quixote, it's like, you know what? I'm gonna try this one out. This is an X damage repair shampoo because my hair is so frizzy recently. And this one is a hair treatment. Martin needs some hair treatment because he dyes his hair and shampoo. I'm not sure if this is a treatment or a conditioner. So I'm gonna figure that one out. And then I know it's Vaseline. Probably we have it here. I don't know. But I do need some deep moisturizing in my body because winter time just dries up your skin and I can actually feel that. I'm already dry skin. This is a micellar cleansing wipes. I absolutely love it from by Fiesta. I rarely use it because I don't put too much makeup on. So only when I have eyeliners and mascara. This is the only time I use it. Um, more seasoning for the rice and last but not the least Cupie! Japanese mayo. I know we also have it here in the Philippines, but love it. I also want to show you some things that I thrifted. It's like a stainless dish, whatever. And it's only 330 yen. And it's in good quality. I thrifted this, so this is second hand. And it comes with uh, these smaller one so i was thinking oh when we have a charcuterie board we can put the the cheese there honey olives there i don't know and it costs 550 yen for five pieces isn't that amazing so i i also bought so much like neckties i don't know why but i feel like i can use it at some point because only 464 yen and it's 50 percent off so meaning i got it for 200. And this one is mos moschino mos moschino moschino so yeah that's all i have and this jumper 
and all of the coats that you saw me use except for the black one in the beginning those are all thrifted so if you're going to japan during winter time i suggest do not bring that much winter clothes do not buy it in the philippines because it tends to be super expensive here and it's very genetic i would say go to thrift stores like second street mode off and i'm pretty sure you're gonna find some you're definitely gonna find some winter clothes there during winter season mind you they do change their racks per season so chances are if you go there during winter time it's all winter clothes when we were there during summer it's all mostly like summer clothes so yeah that's about it and let's go get going you know it's a brand new week a brand new vlog almost in my third trimester let's get it whip, whip.